Hi, welcome to lecture 4 of the module Water. I am Audumbar Patkar. In last lecture, we learned how to determine hardness of water using complex metric titration method. Now, in this lecture, I will show you how to calculate total permanent and temporary hardness of water using this method. Let's solve some numericals. Here's the first example. In this example, we have to calculate each type of hardness that is temporary, permanent and total hardness. We can observe that data is divided in four lines. In the first line, concentration of standard hard water is given. 0.28 gram of calcium carbonate was dissolved in HCl and the solution made up to 1 liter with distilled water. 100 ml of the above solution that is standard hard water required 28 ml of EDTS solution. This will be useful to standardize EDTS solution. Quantity of hard water sample used and EDTA consumed will be helpful to calculate total hardness. After boiling, cooling and filtering that is removing temporary hardness producing salts, 100 ml of this sample consumed, 10 ml of EDTS solution. This data can be used to calculate permanent hardness. So in the first step, let's convert this concentration of standard hard water in milligrams per ml. So that will be easy for calculation. So 0.28 gram of calcium carbonate was dissolved in HCl and the solution made up to 1 liter with distilled water. That is 1 liter of standard hard water contents 0.28 grams of calcium carbonate. So 1 liter means 1000 ml of standard hard water. Convert this gram into milligrams by multiplying by 1000 that is 280 milligrams of calcium carbonate. Therefore, 1 ml of standard hard water contents 280 divided by 1000 that is 0.28 milligrams of calcium carbonate. So here we get concentration of standard hard water in milligrams per ml. Let's say equation 1. We can use this concentration to standardize EDTS solution. Let's use this data in second line to standardize EDTS solution. Write the equation as it is. 100 ml of standard hard water required 28 ml of EDTS solution. We know that concentration of standard hard water that is 1 ml of standard hard water contents 0.28 milligrams of calcium carbonate so calculate for 100 ml of standard hard water so 100 ml of standard hard water contains 0.28 into 100 that is 28 milligrams of calcium carbonate say equation 3 if we check equation 2 and equation 3 the left hand sides are same hence we can compare their right hand sides that is 28 ml of EDTS solution corresponds to 28 milligrams of calcium carbonate 
therefore 1 ml of EDTS solution corresponds to 28 divided by 28 that is 1 milligram of calcium carbonate let's say equation 4 so here we got relation between EDTS solution and concentration of standard hard water or say equation for standardization this equation will be helpful to calculate total hardness and permanent hardness of water sample by using this reading of hard water sample let's calculate total hardness find this equation as it is 100 ml of water sample consume 33 ml of EDTA solution but we know that 1 ml of EDTA solution corresponds to 1 milligrams of calcium carbonate that is relation we got in standardization for this titration 33 ml of EDTA solution required therefore calculate for 33 ml of EDTA solution is equal to 1 into 33 that is 33 milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent hardness that is 400 ml of water sample we want a final answer in ppm that is milligrams per liter so calculate for 1 liter of water sample that is for 1000 ml of water sample is equal to 33 divided by 100 that will give you concentration for 1 ml multiply this by 1000 to get for 1000 ml that is 330 milligrams per liter or 330 ppm here we got total hardness let's calculate permanent hardness using this last titration reading so after removing temporary hardness of water using boiling and filtration 100 ml of water sample required 10 ml of EDTA solution but we know that 1 ml of EDTA solution corresponds to 1 milligram of calcium carbonate that is again equation we obtain in standardization so calculate concentration for 10 ml of EDTA solution 1 into 10 it is again 10 milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent hardness that is for 100 ml of water sample so calculate for 1000 ml of water sample is equal to 10 divided by 100 into 1000 is equal to 100 milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent hardness per liter that is 100 ppm is your permanent hardness now temporary hardness that is difference between total hardness and permanent hardness so total hardness we got that is 300 ppm minus permanent hardness that is 100 ppm that will give you 230 ppm so by using these five steps you can calculate total permanent and temporary hardness here is one example for practice follow the steps and calculate 
temporary hardness of water sample. So that's it for now. Thank you very much and see you next time.